Hello there folks, how are you doing? I hope that I find you all very well indeed and you're all having a brilliant day so far. Or if you're new, a very warm welcome to you also and I'm very glad you found our wee corner of YouTube and decide to hang around. So this is the wee bubble and squeak recipe that I've been going on about. You know, it's just a perfect recipe for any leftovers that you might have from, you know, a roast dinner or, I mean, you can make it from fresh as well, but traditionally it would be made from leftovers and it's just a lovely wee potato side or potato accompaniment. So, as usual, I've listed everything that I've used down below in the description box, but this is what I've used if you want to give it a wee go yourself. So, first of all, I've got one tablespoon of goose fat. You can use butter if you like. It's just that I had some goose fat that I was trying to use up. So that's why I've used goose fat and it gives it a lovely flavour. I've also got two tablespoons of dried cooked fried onions. Now you can just buy these in a wee pot, freeze dried. I've also got 400 grams of cooled uh, mashed potato. I've got 300 grams of cooked cooled cabbage. I've got one whole sliced onion, I've got 200 grams of diced smoked bacon and I've got two cloves of garlic which I've just roughly sliced and that's it. I mean it's super simple, like I say, it's usually made up from leftovers that you would have from a different meal but you can of course make it fresh if you prefer. So that's it, so let's move on and see what we do next. So these are the wee fried onions I'm using. Like I said, they, I, you know, I just bought these from the shop and they're already cooked and fried. You know, they're freeze dried, but they've got, you know, they've got tons of flavour. So the first thing you want to do is get a large frying pan onto a medium high heat. And to that, you want to add whatever fat you're using. Like I said, I'm using goose fat, but you can use butter or olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you want. And once your fat is nice and warm, you want to pop your bacon in. You just want to fry this until it's starting to colour. And it starts to get brown around the edges. It'll only take a few minutes. And I was happy with this. And when you're at that stage, you just want to go ahead and pop in your onion and your garlic. And just give this a good fry for a few minutes until everything is nice and soft. Again, this will only take a few minutes. And once you're happy, you can pop in your cabbage. And you just want to stir this round and give it a good fry, probably for about five to seven minutes. You want a wee bit of colour on your cabbage. And like, as you can see there, you know, it's just starting to colour. And then once it's starting to colour, you can pop in your mashed potato. And when I make mashed potato, I always add loads of butter and milk or cream. So I, I always end up with really creamy mashed potato. But if yours is looking a bit drier than this, don't worry, because it'll all soften up anyway as it warms through. So you just want to spread your potato around, mix everything in and just leave it to sort of colour on the underside. You want this to kind of char on the underside. And just before you're ready to flip it, pop on your dried onions, if you're deciding to use them, of course. So just give it a good, you know, give it a good fry and then once it's charred, flip it over. I just use a big plate for this. as you'll see in a wee second. So 
So that's my plate. <laughs> and I'll just flip mine over and then just slide it back into the pan. It's quite important to use a non-stick pan for this or else it's just going to be like a jigsaw, a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> You'll have to put it all back together again. So just bring it away from the sides with your spatula. And if you're using a good non-stick pan, you know, it's not going to stick, so you'll be fine. And that's it done. Once it's charred, you know, on each side, that, that's you basically done. It really doesn't take long and it's absolutely delicious. We love potatoes in this house and it's just so tasty. So we just did that with some pork chops. And that's the bubble and squeak at the side there at the back. And we just had some sweet corn and some peas. And I really do urge you to give this a wee try if you're a, a potato fan like me. <laughs> so thank you very much again, guys, for popping over and seeing what's going on. And I've got my wee giveaway video going up next. So fingers crossed that you're lucky with that. So hopefully you'll pop over for that. And then after the giveaway, I'm going to be popping up meals of the week. So yeah. So like I said, thank you very much for popping over. And uh, until I see you next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye now.